But I have to say, one of the things that Iranian footballer Ali Dai highlighted was that people should use the World Cup as a platform for protest. If they choose to do so, it won't be a first. So tonight on the Gravitas Countdown to Qatar, we look at how over the years players, fans and hosts have used the tournament as a platform for protest. And we also question, can this happen in Qatar? Take a look. The 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar kicks off this Sunday. The build-up to this mega event has been controversial. Qatar's human rights record has been repeatedly brought up, and their anti-LGBTQ laws have also been a flashpoint. The Supreme Committee, the International Labour Organization, FIFA Pro, and most importantly, the migrant workers of Qatar. The kafala system has largely been dismantled. Their implementation remains inconsistent and requires improvement. The LGBTI plus people. Effective remedy for those who have been denied their rights and the decriminalization of all same-sex relationships. Denmark will wear a toned-down jersey as a mark of protest. The captains of many teams, including England's Harry Kane, Wales's Gareth Bale and the Netherlands' Virgil van Dijk, among others, plan to defy FIFA by wearing rainbow armbands with one love written on them. The World Cup could also see Iranian players lend solidarity to the protests back home over women's rights. But is this the first time a World Cup is being used as a protest platform? The answer is no. In 2006, Germany welcomed 31 other nations for the mega event. Among them was Iran. Ahead of Iran's match against Mexico, thousands raised their voices against Iran's then-president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who described the Holocaust as a myth and wanted Israel wiped off the map. Fast forward eight years to Brazil. The build-up to the World Cup was marred by protests and violence. Brazilians took to the streets to show their dissent towards the astronomical amount of public money spent on the month-long event. Even as foreign fans flocked to the iconic beaches and stadiums, Romario, a World Cup winner with Brazil, dubbed the 2014 World Cup as the biggest theft in history. Russia hosted the 2018 edition. There were calls to strip Russia of the hosting right for their annexation of Crimea. But FIFA did not rock the boat. Fair or football against racism in Europe, an organization set up to counter discrimination in European football, warned traveling LGBTQ supporters to not hold hands in public. Hiya. Protest group Pussy Riot, known critics of the Vladimir Putin regime, invaded the pitch during the final between France and Croatia. World Cup teams are already in Qatar, or flying in. And they are showing support for the migrant workers who built the futuristic stadiums, playing football with them. But FIFA wants them to focus on the football. After all, protests don't look good on TV. And remember, a global audience of more than 3 billion is expected to tune in. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.